Um, you just set the temperature and it does its thing. Here's going to be your breaker panel. Your bathroom is going to have a pocket door into your bedroom, but you get your uh, toilet here. This is going to be a plastic toilet, not a porcelain, like the Imagine, but you get your uh, ceiling fan there for your AC. It's going to be your bathroom box. These three doors here are all going to be glass, so they're very nicely finished in a radio shower. You do get your sink basin here. This is going to be a plastic sink, a little medicine cabinetry, storage under the kitchen, sorry, bathroom sink. These are going to be your gauges for all of your tanks as well as your water pump uh, and your water heater. Your water heater is going to be gas only. So that's just something to notice comparing to the Imagine, which was gas and electric. Panning out here in the bathroom. Going into the bedroom, we're going to find two windows opposing each other. Both of them are going to open outwards because this is going to be a frameless window unit. This is going to be a 60 by 80 um, mattress as well, so your standard queen. It doesn't have struts under the bed, but it still has under the bed storage. You get a little stair set here with your furnace vent. Hanging storage. On top of that, we are going to find our overhead storage, two of those, and then one in each side for your hanging space. You are going to find a little light in there, but this is just going to be a little nook for like glasses and such. Taking a look into the other angle, we still have a roof vent here with vent covers already. This is going to be your AC vent. That door just goes outwards into the living area again. Okay. Looking into our living space, we are going to find a couple more storage here by your couch, lots of hanging area, overhead storage above the couch once again. Your blinds are going to be siphon blind so it's just like your typical fold in fold out you just pull it down or pull it up but they're not black out um they're going to be a cream color i don't know if you can tell but lots of light your couch here is going to be a trifold couch this turns into a bed uh versus the imagine it had recliners so you only had reclining capabilities not extra sleeping capabilities this gets fairly large actually and so is your dinette which is on the slide out so your slide out here is only your dinette with three windows open sideways open sideways open sideways this is just like in the bed formation it is quite of a large table so it turns into a fairly decent sized bed under both sides of the dinette you are going to have storage and right beside it, we're going to have our infotainment system. You get an above cabinetry for storage. You do get your DVD reader and your AM FM connection here. And you do get a Bluetooth connectivity to it as well. Your TV, a little bit more storage. And then taking a look into the ceiling. Your ceiling here is going to be a flat roof, so you are going to have your AC units and everything is going to all be the same height. Your clearance ceiling here will be 78 inches, okay? You still get ceiling speakers as well as outdoor speakers, your LED lights, your AC vents, your AC units there, more AC vents, more lights. And then taking a look into our kitchen here, which is right beside our couch and our dinette. We are going to have a double sink. It's just going to be a plastic sink instead of being your inox sink. Little window, storage on top of that sink, beside of the microwave. It's quite of a large storage. It is an L-shaped storage, so it fits a lot of stuff in there. You get a really good size counter space here with two drawers. And once again, a little cubby. This is going to be your under the sink storage, quite large as well. You still get a microwave, your hood range, as well as a three stove top. 
this is going to be the size of your little oven. And beside that idea, we're going to have a refrigerator. A refrigerator here is still going to be a two-way, so gas electric. Main difference here will be that this is a six cubic feet instead of the Imagine, which was an eight cubic feet refrigerator, okay? Try saying the unit you'd like Whoops. to convert to. That was my phone. <laughs> so right beside the refrigerator, we're going to have our secondary door and a little nook here for the secondary door. Lots more storage in here with a little um, side table for your couch. And then taking a look into a different angle to the unit, this is what we find. Coming through the second door, we look to the right, we're going to have a dinette and couch. Look to the left, we're going to have our kitchen area. Alrighty, let me walk you to the unit again in the outside and we should be all done here. So taking a look into the outside, this unit does feature floating steps on both entrances with a, a big handle on your main entrance and your second entrance would just be a little bit of smaller one. Your awning here is going to go along the coach, so it's a fairly large awning as well. Um, you're going to get your bumper here, a perfect spot for sewer holes. That's the back of your refrigerator. That's the back of your furnace there. It's going to be your water heater here and outdoor shower, so connection for cold and hot water. The difference here between this one and the Imagine was that the Imagine had this outdoor shower in your pass-through, not on the exterior here. That's going to be your galley area there, so for your tank disposal. More tank disposal area, so you're going to get two exits. So you would be connecting two sewer hoses or doing them individually. This unit is once again a 30 amp because it only has one AC. That's going to be your city water connection and your black water tank flush area. This is going to be your gravity fill. Slam latch once again with magnetic holder. This is going to be that hitch that does come with this unit. Uh, it is a Blue Ox, so this is a very highly highly rated brand. Um, and as I said, your clearance is just not going to be as strong as the Imagine because you do get a drop frame in Imagine and not here. So you are going to get a power front jack and manual corner stabilizers. You're gonna have four of those just like the Imagine. All right, closing this up here. It's going to show you the GVWR of the unit is 7,600 pounds and the dry weight is going to be, doesn't give me here in pounds, only in kgs, which is going to be 2470 um, kilograms. I'm just going to go inside to see if I can find that dry weight exactly for you guys in pounds. Let's see here, that's just going to be my cargo weight. Once again, we get that in kilograms. So in here, we're going to get a gross vehicle weight, which is 7,600 pounds. Carrying car cargo capacity is going to be 1,800, call it. So let me triple check inside. I'm just going to convert that kg to pounds and I'll give you guys the exact dry weight of the unit. 2018 Apex 267 RKS.